talk to him. I'd be like, have a great contest. He's like, what? I'd be like, who are you wrestling tonight? Stillborn? He's like, that's not a name. I'm like, okay. Uh, and we were just like way different in the bedroom, you know? Like, we had different styles. His style was like really energetic and like moving around. And like my style, like what I like, I like to like lay there. So, he was always like doing a floor routine and I was like, it's the morning, my neck hurts. But, uh, but it was fun. It was fun to like sleep with a guy who's in good shape. I've never done that. I usually date kind of chubby-ish comics when they take their shirts off. You're like, how are you not a woman? Like that kind of a guy. But I like that. I like feeling like the hot one in bed. So I can whisper things, you know, like, you're welcome. Or, um, you owe me for this. Like that kind of a, that kind of a thing. But I had an encounter with a huge penis. Just like the biggest thing you can imagine. I really think of them now like as a, like they're like unicorns, you know? Like in theory, you're like, Yes, I would love to have an encounter with a unicorn. Oh my God, a unicorn in the forest? Yes. But if a unicorn were ever standing in front of you, you'd be like, fuck that, and you would run. <laughs> you'd run. You'd be like, oh, it's just a horse with a weapon on its head. <laughs> just what a giant penis is. The only difference is unicorns are white. But, what, what? Just kidding. No, so, I think they're unnecessary. They're, it's like a Hummer limo, you know? They look cool, but you can't park them anywhere. What's the point, right? I, I went home with this guy, and, um, and he went down on me right away, because he was raised well. Uh, I'm thinking, like, get his mom's email. She needs a shout out. Uh, so he's having what I'm assuming is the time of his life. And uh, so he's doing that. And then he, he kind of gave up eventually because he could see I was texting. Um, I'm like, it's about you. So then he brings out his penis. He kind of presents it like, here it is. And I think he thought, because I'm a substantial chick, that I was just going to be like, that whole thing? But I was like, Mom! <laughs> it didn't even register as a cop. Like, it just looked like an animal had latched on. <laughs> like, wouldn't let go. I was like, oh, you should call someone. Uh, it's like, where does that sleep at night? Like, is there a stable? Like, was, does that sleep in hay? So... Just, I wasn't excited at all. It was all fear. And I, but then I was like, you should be excited right now. Like, I should have been taking Instagram pics with it. Like, ah. mm -mm. Like, fun, possible holiday photos, you know? I was like, come on, bitch. You played volleyball in high school. You did that 5K run, mostly walk once, and... And he was getting weirded out because I was saying all this out loud. Um, no, so I'm like, all right, I need to stop pretending like I'm a hero. I'm going to sleep with this guy. Uh, so I was like, do you have a condom? And he was like, no. And I was like, way to call me on my bluff. You know I don't care. It really takes the wind out of your sails for a guy to be like, nope, and you're like, all right. <laughs> but then he said something really sweet. He was like, but I don't have AIDS or anything. I was like, oh. <laughs> have you been reading my dream journal? So... So then we, we tried to have sex. We tried. 
and it didn't work at all. It was just like, it wouldn't go in. It was like knocking at the gate and the gate was like, mm -mm -mm. it didn't work. It didn't fit. It was like, it was like, uh, that's, you just said Winnie the Pooh where he eats too much honey and he gets stuck at his door. No, you guys had joyless childhoods. Okay. It was like, it, you can relate to this. It was like a truck getting stuck in the Holland Tunnel, okay? Just right at the entrance. And I see you're the faces you're making. You're, look, I'm not trying to make it sound like I have some dainty, just tea-drinking pussy, just like a Downton Abbey-watching thimble of a vagina. It's normal. It's normal. And in that example, it was the Holland Tunnel. Uh, pretty accurate. Um, yeah, it uh, cost about $12. Um, a lot of guys from Jersey have been in it. Um, it hurt to say out loud. So I'm like, you know, packing up my wares. Just like, good luck in all your endeavors. Follow me on Twitter. He's like, where are you going? And I was like, I'm leaving. Like, goodbye forever, you know? This didn't work out. And he's like, oh, let's keep trying. I was like, no. <laughs> well, why? So that I can walk around New York with my new gaping vagina, just like, hey! What? No, I just had a good weekend. Picking up maneuvering off the subway platform, like, oh, uh. Did anyone see where it rolled? Uh. A rat's wearing it like a crown. I'm like, wait. Thank you. Thank you. It is a, uh, Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. I, I... coming out. This is exciting, isn't it? A lot's happened in a year. Uh, I'm rich now, obvi. <laughs> Thank you. No, isn't this like a sad, like substitute art teacher outfit? It is. No, nothing has changed. I was like, oh my God, I have a TV show. I'm about to be so rich. Like I was burning bridges all over Manhattan. And... <laughs> Same shitty apartment. <laughs> nothing has changed. You have to be so rich here for it to matter. <laughs> I still dress like shit. If anybody's seen me on the subway, you know. I like to wear American apparel. I like, I like the marketing for American apparel, don't you? I like the models. It always looks like a shot of the last time they were ever seen, right? Just... <laughs> it looks like they're waiting for Liam Neeson in the bottom of a closet. Like, help! Like, hostage lighting. Why do they do that? Like, oh, if I buy these leggings, will you also find my body in a swamp? What's... 
What is the idea with that? Nothing has changed. I um, I get uh, some fancy stuff. I get acupuncture now. That's fancy. I go to like a nicer waxing place. You know, a place where they like, change the paper. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> You're the Duchess of Deutschland? Like, what is this? It's like literally no blood on the paper. I'm like, mm, what's the occasion? Uh, yeah, acupuncture, waxing, just really paying for more and more Asian people to hurt me. That's what happens with money, I guess. And I'm staying at nicer hotels. That's the thing, that's really cool. Because for 10 years, I've been on the road staying at just awful places, just not even a comfort inn, like a comfort Western, just a, like an off-brand place where like the sheets hurt, you know? It's like for four thread count, it's BYO towels, just. Just like shivering in the shower, they're like, you should have called ahead. You're like, uh. I miss those places because at least they kept it real with you. They would be honest, you check in, and it's, if it's after 4 p.m., it's some just like rapist night manager, just with the child molester glasses, just like, and he treats you like shit. He's like, you're paying $1.99 to stay here. <laughs> I'm gonna treat you like shit. And you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I deserve for staying at this murder hotel. They throw your key at you, they tell you to go suck a dick, and you're like, okay, thank you. These places, try dialing zero at one of these hotels. No one, answers. there's no customer service. Like a bed bug answers, like I'll be right up. No one cares. But now these fancy hotels, oh my God, they're so manipulative. The people that work at these fancy places, they treat you the way you wish your parents had, you know? They give you slippers and a robe and they tell you your dad's never gonna leave. Just lies. Just sweet lies. They're like strippers. Like they're just, they're just, they're fucking with you. You walk, you walk in. And they're like, how was your day? <laughs> and you're like, me? <laughs> they're like, yes, you silly goose. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh my God, like I was just staying at a W, you know that chain, right? The W, do you guys, can you believe how pretend, like just to call yourself that, like we're just gonna be a letter. It's just. <laughs> Should we shorten it? Should we just be the dub? I don't know. I don't want rich people to have to talk too long. This, mm. So I was staying at a W in Miami. I went to Miami. I went with my sister for a vacation. Because we're so stupid. And uh, we were like, let's go. It's warm. We'll make out with boys. We got down there and we saw the other women walking by the ocean. We were like, oh, we're not making out with shit. <laughs> the staff at the hotel saw us clock them and they were just like, uh -huh, do you want a drink? I was like, I want a burka, cover me. <laughs> Get me a poncho. I was like, what are those? They were like, those are women. I was like, what are we? <laughs> They're like, we don't know. We just stayed in the hotel room the whole time watching Pitch Perfect. We never left. We never left the room. Oh, it's so bro. But then, you know, you'll get like a wave of, of confidence. It'll just be like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the gym. Like, I'm gonna turn it around. <laughs> I don't care that when I turned 30, my metabolism told me to go fuck myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Isn't that cool when you turn 30 and your metabolism just goes, bye! 
And you're like, wait, don't I need you? And it's like, it doesn't matter. 